started, Danny. All right, so I've got Hank up here. So at this point, what type of energy does Hank possess? Ugh. Uh, Ugh, right? Now, there's two ways that Hank can get down to the bottom. We can just drop Hank this way, or we could put Hank up here and let go of it, and then what would happen? He rolls. He rolls. Okay? So, in both situations, does Hank start with the same amount of energy? Yes. And how would you calculate that energy? You mass times mass. MGH, right? Yeah. Boom, center of mass. There you go. Not a big deal. Now, if Hank just goes boop and falls like that, no rotation, how would the kinetic energy that he has here relate to the potential energy that he has up there? It'd be the same. It'd be the exact same. Now, this would be like Cohen being an only child. <gasps> okay? I get loved. <laughs> and a long lost uncle says, hey, I don't have any heirs. I'm going to leave it to my only nephew, Cohen. Half million bucks. Yes. Cohen gets all the half million. Yes. Okay? Because it's here. Boom. Now, let's just make life simpler. Let's say you only have one sibling. Who do you want it to be? You only have one sibling. Ellie. Ellie. Okay. Now, so, Cohen, <laughs> I, just, I just need two. That's, I can't have three. Okay. So, Cohen uncle still has the same $500,000, but he's going to split it between Ellie and Cohen. So that would be like this thing rolling downhill, okay? So... Oh, half of it has to go to... Or a percentage anyway, right? But more importantly, if that happens, what happens to the amount of money you're going to get? Decreases. But what happens to the total amount of money? Stays the, the same. Stays the same. Now, so when this thing rolls like this, what types of energy does it have? Rotational energy. Has rotational kinetic energy and translational. translational kinetic energy. And those two values have to add up to what? The total amount of energy that you had up here. Now, in which situation is the linear velocity, the value of V, how fast it's moving, going to be bigger when it just drops off the back side or when it rolls? Drops off the back. Why? It goes... Uh, it is less time. No. Nope. Yeah. You don't lose any into rotational. Yes. It all goes to velocity. It all it all that all goes into kinetic energy. So this UG equals KT, MGH equals one half MV squared, right? Okay. Simplify that V equals the square root of two GH. Boom, it's all kinetic. This one, because it's split, right? So now you're gonna have some rotational and some translational. So this V is going to be smaller. The same energy is going to be there, but the center of mass is going, translational velocity is going to be less because it's getting split. Now, what if this was the magic frictionless ramp? Then it would slide would down. It would would that velocity at the bottom be the same as if it came off the back? Yes. Because it was still the same amount of energy. If this was the magic frictionless ramp, would the times be the same? No. Which would take longer. The ramp. Right. For two reasons. It's distance. going over more distance. That's a greater distance. What about the acceleration? It will be less. Oh, yeah. So the acceleration is going to be much less because we're on an inclined plane. And you have a much greater distance to Go. travel. This one just goes bam, okay? So, but if it's just sliding, they would both end up with the same velocity. 
it would just take longer to get to that point. <coughs> Got the visual. Good? Great? Okay. Dan, stop that. Back we 